Hey guys, welcome back to my next video in the Vegan in Paris series. I am doing a double whammy today. I'm currently in the middle of filming my pink curl tutorial. So in my drone time, I'm doing a, another video for my channel. If you want to watch my other video, it's going up this week as well. So I'm not sure which one will go up first. It depends on the editing process. Anyway, so what I thought I would do is do a little info video about essential products in the vegan diet that we all know that we need to take regularly in order to get protein, omega, B12, uh, calcium, etc. that might not be so easy to find when you come to France because they might not be readily available or they might have a different name or you might have found them or you might know what they're called but then you find in translation and pronunciation you're getting them wrong and people have no idea what you're talking about. So number one, and this is really really hard to find in France, any kind of beauty and daily kind of health products, really hard to get in terms of being cruelty free and vegan. So I found it very hard to get toothpaste. Yeah, so in Australia you can either get like herbal brands um, but if you're looking for like a mainstream whitening brand, we have White Glow, which is like an American brand that was designed for um, models and actors. So White Glow in Australia is vegan, but I found like some herbal brands um, among vegan and a couple of other like Neutralia stores and stuff, but they didn't really appeal to me. They looked a bit too earthy <laughs> and natural, and I do like whitening toothpaste, I'll, I'll admit it. So. Um, I found this at a store called Auchan. They also have mini kind of city stores called Adepa. It was not available there, you know, to get, need to go to the big Auchan. I went to the one at La Défense. Blancheur, which means whitening. This, the whitening in this is bicarb soda. So, um, I only used it for the first time today. My teeth feel very clean, but I'll see how the whitening goes. But, you know, if you're just traveling and you're looking for something, that's a really good way to go. If you are looking for toothpaste, you say, Donkey Fleece. That's toothpaste. And the brand is Biofa Nature, but I'll link it down below. And as we all know, vegans need to get their omegas. A great way of getting that is to have linseed oil, and this can be kind of hard to find because everything in France has a different name to what it does in English. And linseed oil is not really readily available at the supermarket. So I found this at Biocoup which is a supermarket chain, but it's a natural brand one, like a health food store chain. So this is Bioplanet Huile de Lin. So it kind of sounds like oil, Huile de Lin, which means oil of linseed. Um, so at least it's Lin, so it's kind of easy to remember. Um, yeah, and it was pretty cheap here to be honest. I think that was like six euros So I was pretty happy because in Australia, it's kind of expensive to get linseed oil So that's that and then if you want to keep on with your Omega Fruit 3s and you're a chia seed fan You can get chia seed again from Bucoop. Uh, you can also get it from Neutralia Some main supermarket chains stock it, but it's kind of it's more of a health food thing But you will find it like Amon Vegan um, Bucoop, Bucibon and Neutralia and you pronounce that rang de chia, which is kind of confusing because it says chia, but you don't pronounce it that way. So, yeah, good luck with that one. Next thing, like vegans love their beans, they are readily available at supermarkets, but if for some reason you can't find them, it can be tricky to have a conversation with someone who doesn't speak English if you say beans. And then if you're like me, I was like, Maybe the word legume, I'm pretty sure the word legume is French. Okay, I want legumes. Legumes are vegetables, they're not beans. Nice work English taking a French word and repurposing it to mean something completely different in our language. So if you want beans, you need to say pois. So if you want chickpeas, say pois chiche. That also applies like petit pois is like a, is a pea. And then if you want beans like kidney beans and white beans is haricot, rouge for red, think rouge like, you know, blush, which means red bean or haricot blanc. Blanc, think of pignon blanc, white, white wine, so white bean. And then if you want lentils, it's almost the same as lentilles. Um, so, if you say lentils, they might know what you're talking about, luckily. So that's how you get hold of your beans. And thankfully, tofu is just tofu. Tricky thing is, 
Some major brand stuff, but like Monoprix has like a bio section that has tofu. It's vacuum sealed and it's stored on the shelf and not in the fridge, so it's kind of gross and it has a weird texture. But if you're desperate, you can get that at your city stores and your mainstream brand stores. But if you go to Neutralia, Beauty Bong, Vioku, you'll find really great versions with like soft, medium, hard, hard tofu, smoked tofu, herbed tofu, spiced tofu. It's great. Um, so I'd highly recommend that so much better quality is amazing and the Asian stores here like every Asian store in every country it's pretty much exactly the same they have every type of tofu, tofu you can imagine from the ones that come in the sausage vacuum packs to the little tubs of it to your hard tofu everything tofu noodles it's great um, next I found this really hard to find but if you are, like most vegans I know, a nutritional yeast fiend, then you're going to want to find your nooch. And of course it is a great source of B12. I found it really hard to get B12 tablets and sprays here. Like you can get tablets, but they're not type that absorb readily into your body and quickly. So I bring your B12 supplements with you. Um, I order mine off of iHerb.com. But if you want to get a hit of B12 from a food source, nutritional yeast is great. You can get... The nutritional yeast that we're all familiar with, the yellow flakes from Almond's Vegan. That's the only place that I've found it. Neutralia, Bio Cook, and all that don't stock it. And that's the really cheesy, familiar version, which is, I'm not sure what they grow the yeast on. It's something else, but that's called, um, you can just say nutritional yeast because that's what the packaging actually says, and they'll probably know what you're talking about at Almond Vegan because a lot of their customers speak English and are international. But if you want to say the correct term in French, it is. Well, sorry, I had to check that with my French guru, Val. So, uh, if you want to get nutritional yeast, the one that we know, the yellow one, it's um, levure alimentaire, which means nutritional yeast or yeast nutritional, because the French like to say things the other way. Their adjective comes after their noun. So, um, there's that. Or you can get what I have bought and I'm trying at the moment, which is the same thing except the base of the yeast is grown on malt. So this is levure malté. Malté, Val? Malté. Levure is yeast and then whatever it is is based on either what it's grown on or alimentaire means nutrition. So yeah, this is good. It's a milder taste. It's not quite as cheesy. It has a bit more of a yeasty, bready taste, but it definitely still has riboflavin, thiamine, which is B1 and B2, niacin, and it does say it has B12 in it as well. So you're going to get a little hit from that. And last but not least, obviously, we all love our milk replacements, milk alternatives. This is really tricky in France because if you go to get a coffee from somewhere, it's just cow's milk. So you either have black coffee or you have leather bash if you ask for soy or any other alternative they're just like Kua. so um that's frustrating there are a few places that do soy lattes around the city my absolute favorite um coffee and cake store cloud cakes has got multiple um milk alternatives and um, there's a few other places i'll do a video i think if people are interested let me know but i think a video about like where to get a soy latte in france would be good because they are hard to come across but anyway if you want to make them at home or you want to have some soy milk on your oats in the morning here is how you find your milks now they are in the milk section of the supermarket milk in france isn't fresh. Even cow's milk is all UHT, which is super gross, and that's what they make at cafes when you order it. It's like, yuck. So you're not gonna come across fresh refrigerated soy milk or so milk alternatives, that's all there is to it. So go to the UHT section and you'll find multiple different versions. Now the big thing about soy milk in France is that it has sugar in it. So you have to find the ones that say sans sucre. Sans sucre, you can see on, whoops, on the front here, sans sucre ajouté. And that means without added sugars. So if you want any kind of milk alternative, you start with the word milk. Lait de vache, which is cow. But obviously we don't want that. So we're gonna say lait de soja. Or lait de coco coconut milk and then there is this brand here this is oat milk and that's pronounced lait d'avoine it's confusing because if in french if you have 
D preceding a word that starts with a vowel, then you join them together. So instead of les deux avoines, it's going to be les d'avoines. But if you say les deux avoines, they'll probably figure out what you're talking about. But anyway, that's that one. It's a product of Italy actually, but that is like super tasty. This is the closest thing I have found to bon soy. The, the consistency and the, the texture and that creaminess and lack of sugary taste is, is similar. It's good. Soy milk in France, not so great. This is okay. I wouldn't say it's a great brand, but it's available at most normal supermarkets. And then this one, the Alpro brand, I think is a British brand and that's available at all your like Bioku and Neutralias and they have like rice milk, hemp milk, coconut milk, almond milk, everything. Oh, if you want rice milk, that one is uh, Le De Cri, which is confusing because it's spelled R-I-Z, but you don't say the Z, it's Le De Cri. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I've put all of the descriptions hopefully by now like here so you can see how they're written because they don't sound where they're written. And then I will put where you can find the stores that you can buy these products at uh, in the description box below. I hope this was helpful guys. Um, if you want more videos like this, let me know. Little tips and tricks for being vegan in Paris and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!